Welcome back to Robin Hood Archery videos. Today we're going to be talking straightening wooden arrows and wooden arrow shaft. Stay tuned. Okay folks, if you shoot woodies or are thinking of shooting woodies, um, there's one thing you should know. They can bend very easily and they tend to stay bent once they are bent. Um, just pulling them out of a target can actually put a bow in them um, and obviously it's going to affect the way you shoot. So I'm going to talk a little bit today about how you can straighten out these bends in your shaft or in your arrow itself. Um, it's more of an introduction to it but it will give you a good idea. There's, there's, um, you get a lot of learning done by doing. So let's get into it and we'll show you first of all what equipment I've got. Um, I'm going to be using the Robin Hood Archery spinner including the telltale piece. I'm going to be using the Robin Hood Archery roller um, and I need a pencil and some tape. That's pretty much everything you need to get started. So let's look at arrows first of all. What I do is I get some tape and I apply it more or less in the middle of the arrow, in the center point between the, each end. I put a bit of tape. It's not critical as long as it's more or less there. It just saves you shoveling the telltale piece in and out when you flip it over to check the opposite end. That's all that is about. Okay, so we set our arrow up with the tape over the center line of the roller. We've got a telltale piece onto the actual point of the arrow. What we do now is we just roll the arrow and you will see if there's a bend in it you will see the point doing concentric circles. Okay, So what you do is you find the lowest point which is about there and then with a pencil, you just mark on the same end of the tape as the point where the high point is. Obviously, if the low point is at the telltale, then the high point is in the middle of the arrow. Flip the arrow around, and now you can see why the tape's in the middle. So it's not a lot of shoveling the um, telltale about. And you do exactly the same on the other side. If you're very lucky, you will find that the two marks, let's see if this is going to, there we are, you can see that the two marks are almost on exactly the same kind of line along the arrow. Now what that means in this particular instance is the arrow has got a smooth banana shape to it. And what's probably happened, somebody's gone to take it out of a target and done that. Rather than pulling it out straight, they've put a bow into the arrow shaft. Or it's gone into the ground and they've done something similar. So let's look at how we remove that bow. Okay, let's just find out, just double check. Yep, there we are. So, with those marks on the tape at the top, what we do is we get our roller and we gently roll her along the shaft. Now what we're doing is we're actually bending the shaft to the opposite way to the way that the bend is in it, if that makes sense. Okay, so you're gently rolling. It's not the whole length, but most of it. Obviously with arrows you've got the fletching to consider. So you roll it. You put it back on the checker, on the spinner and against the telltale. And if you're really good, you can get it first time. That doesn't happen very often. Very often you need to kind of creep up on it and do several um, runs with the roller. If needs be, flip it around the other way. Make sure the marks on the masking tape are the right way. And you can even roll it that way as well. Now... You will have seen, or you may have seen online, people will actually do it flat, and they've even done it, I've even seen it done with a, the edge of a bottle, and they compress 
along where I've just rolled. And the idea with that is if you can press along here, it will bring the arrow back straight. And it does work. Um, in my experience though, they don't stay straight as long as doing it my way. The difference being by actually bending it back on itself with the point on the desk or the workbench and actually bending it into the curve that you're trying to get rid of, you're not only compressing the fibers along the top, but you're also stretching the fibers along the bottom. So rather than doing all the work on one side of the wood, you're evening it out, kind of 50% compression and 50% expansion. So you just roll it to your heart's content, keep checking until you get to a point where you're happy that that point is rollering, <laughs> as it were, nice and smoothly, nice and straightly, in line with the rest of the arrow, okay? A little word on woods. What you will probably find is that certain woods may be slightly easier to correct than other woods. Um, it will come down to the individual bit of wood you've got and also the type of wood, uh, be it spruce or pine or cedar or whatever else it is you might be using. Um, and that's another reason why I say creep up on it. Don't go really mad on it straight away. Just get a feel for the springiness of the wood. If the first time you roller it, it doesn't have any effect on that curvature that you're trying to get out whatsoever, then obviously a little bit more pressure, get a little bit more reverse bend in it and creep up, up, in, creep up on it in that way. Um, and this will safeguard either going too far and putting a bend in the opposite direction or in the worst case scenario, completely snapping the arrow. Okay, for arrow shafts, in some ways it's even easier, in others it couldn't have complications. Well, why is that? Well, it's easier in a way because you've got no knock to worry about, no point to worry about, no fletching. It is just a bare shaft. Um, but the principle is the same. I put a little bit of tape halfway along and you can check it against the telltale on one side, put a little mark, spin it over, spin it up again, find the low point at the telltale, put a little mark on your uh, masking tape, and then you can see in which direction the curve goes and roller it out, okay? So that's fairly simple if it's a continuous curve. What can happen with bear shafts, can also happen with arrows, but more than likely with bear shafts, you can end up with a curve that way on one side and a curve that way on the other. Or what, when it gets really tricky, say a downward curve here and a curve out to the left or to the right on the other side. But you will see that when you spin it up on the roller and look at the marks on your masking tape, okay? So that's it in a nutshell. You can obviously localize any bends by moving the shaft up or down the spinner and checking local, you know, towards the left-hand side of the shaft or spinning it around and bringing it right in, bring it, I'm not sure if you can actually see that there. So you've got a, quite a short distance between the end of the spinner and the telltale. And you can do the same thing there. That's when it starts to get a little bit trickier. It's not a difficult task. It's well within the means of the vast majority of people. As long as you're sensible about it, ease your way into it, a few test rolls first of all, and you can actually get really, really good results. Right, we're just about to wrap up for today. It's quite a short video. I hope I've explained things correctly. It's quite a simple process, but if I've missed the mark or you haven't understood anything, please let me know in the comments section below. Um, there are quite a few rollers and spinners out on the market, um, although not as many as you'd think. If you're interested in the Robin Hood Archery roller and spinner, I'll leave links in the 
section down below here so you can click on that and go through to the web shop. If you do purchase one, when it gets sent through, it will need a small amount of assembly. You can see on this particular one, it's in three pieces. You've got the base, you've got an upright here, and you've got an upright here. And at the back, you've got two screws in that end and two screws in that end. It's simplicity itself. This post is marked one and this slot here is marked one. This post here is marked two and this slot here is marked two. And you assemble it with the rollers facing outwards. The only reason I've done that um, is because I want these screws. They've all been pre-assembled. Um, and sometimes there may be marginal differences to where the screw holes actually come through. So that's the only reason, reason for that. And on the telltale piece, it's a similar story, but there's no one or two. You've just got, obviously, the two screws in the bottom here. And it comes with some instructions. And you can see this lasered, uh, what would you call it, scale here. And that goes in the direction of an arrow which is actually drawn inside the slot. So easy, easy peasy really. Number one, number two, and then towards the arrow on that. Yep, that's it for today. Um, as I've already said, if you've got any questions, please let me know. If I can help any of you guys set yourselves up with straining or checking and straightening your own arrows or shafts, please let me know, it'd be a fantastic thing. And you do get quite a lot of satisfaction out of doing it. And you know your arrows are spot on when you're shooting. That's it for today. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. That's all for now on Robert and Archery videos. Catch you next time.